Hello everyone, my name is Uh Oh, and today, today we're doing some more Tropico 4. Previously, we actually started this pretty legit mission to bring the rebels on our side, as oxymoronic as that sounds, and pretty much that's all that really happened. We kind of only just started the mission, so let's just get started and see if we can continue it. Uh, we need to build a newspaper, but I don't think we have enough money right now for that. How much does it even cost, a newspaper? That's going to be... It's 5000 We have enough money. We do have enough, but I'm not sure if I'm confident enough in our economy to sustain that kind of investment. Because it's also going to cost money to keep the employees happy and paid and, you know, having a house and stuff. It's going to cost money for us to extend our industries, because right now we're only making like $943 in exports, which is generally just not acceptable. And Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? I just had the mega super frame drop there. I went down to like 1 FPS. Uh, okay, I just hope that doesn't happen again. Anyhow, um, if I remember correctly, we're actually going to use this area up here for something. I forget what it was, but we were going to use it for... Oh yes, oil! That was one of the big things we were actually planning to use this for, was oil, because we do actually have a nice oil location here that we could, I mean, we could invest in that right now, potentially speaking. That is an option. How much does it cost? Uh, 8000 That's a, mm, that's a pretty significant investment. That pretty much, fuck it. You know what? Oil is worth a lot of money, so it's pretty much going to keep us settled for the entire game. Or at least so long as this oil supply is around, it's going to keep us settled. So I'm actually going to invest in it. And we'll see if that, maybe, will help fix our economy, which is currently right now in the absolute most shitty state imaginable. Maybe. I mean, we only, we only have one crate being exported, so... I don't know. It's going to take a while for this thing to build up, too. Yeah, it takes a while for things like this to actually get started, which is kind of, in my opinion, the downside of the campaign is, well, starting a mission for the first time, like, you know, your initial first steps, they're typically always the same. You always start out setting up an industry, getting farms, getting resource collection, maybe encountering a few game-breaking bugs, like that weird stutter. Um... And it's just a really slow start to things, really. And in my opinion, that's probably the weakest thing about the campaign, is that it forces you to do this over and over and over again. But then once it gets started, once you actually get into the mission and you get going, that's when things kind of pick up and you have enough money to spend and do things, or your economy crashes and burns because you didn't organize correctly, which has happened to me more than once. I'm not the best at games. I'm sure if you've been watching this channel, you've come to know that I'm okay, but I wouldn't call myself an MLG Pro by any stretch of the imagination. Speaking of MLG Pro-ness in terms of city building, I don't think I have a single house other than this tenement, which could cause problems. Then again, I don't think I have the money to actually buy another tenement. I think each tenement's like, yeah, it's 4000 each. That's... In one of them, or actually in two of them, our, that'd be all of our money just gone right there. So literally all we can do is wait. Nice island, though. This is an island that did give me some trouble, I think. This is the island with the lawyers, right? Oh. Yeah, this is the island where the lawyers attacked, and we got all those immigrants coming in, and we had to build, like, airports and pirate ships and crap. Um, yeah, this was a good island. Um... If my memory serves me, tourism, I think the only place we could actually do it was over here, our deep inland, and deep inland was just not advisable. So, I'm probably not going to do tourism this time, because we did tourism last time, it was a pretty major focus. So, I don't think it's absolutely necessary for us now. Also, I should probably, now that I actually have the money, I'm going to invest in the newspaper. Um, where should I put her? Where should I put the newspaper? We already have housing here, so I'm probably going to just focus housing along the street. And we'll put the newspaper on the opposite side, like right here. We'll just build it this way. A bunch of housing here, entertainment, and everything else on this side. I think that's probably a fair enough thing. I don't even know if we have um, educated people to actually work the newspaper. Then again, I don't think we actually need workers. The objective does not specify that as a requirement. It only specifies that we need to have the newspaper building itself. Um, why do we need it again? 
Um, okay, we need to find L2 Can. So to do that, we need to put an ad in the newspaper. And my assumption is that L2 Can has been kidnapped by the rebels. It's very likely that the rebels are in some way responsible for this. That it would be something that they do. They can't strike back against El Prez himself because, let's be honest, he's got the military on his side. He's got a giant palace over here. It's going to be really hard to attack him. But they can. The US oh, what? They can strike back on his parrot. Pet advertisement and found it necessary to aid you in your search for that famous L2 can, Presidente. And I'm not a crook. Uh, they have offered to wire us thirty thousand dollars for a charity. Our program, Keep the U.S. Money Home, has a counterproposal to construct a nuclear power plant free of charge instead of giving you money. Safe and cheap technology for next to nothing. Wait. For nothing, really. Uh, this is a tough choice because I don't know if the nuclear power plant's going to be that necessary. Is there a way for me to actually look at the pricing of a nuclear power plant? Because if a nuclear power plant is worth more than $30,000, for example, it might actually be worth taking the plant. But at the same time, our economy could use a boost right now. My question is, why the fuck is the United States offering to send us aid in the first place? Don't they condemn us as war criminals or something? I mean, we did technically... Well, we didn't, but we've been framed for technically assassinating a president. So, really, this shouldn't be a thing that's happening. But setting that aside, you know, plotting consistencies aside... Um, honestly... I don't know if I really... Mm, I think a nuclear power plant's like 60000 That's a That's pretty good. Also, why is the U.S. offering us a nuclear power plant? Aren't they supposed to be like, you know, the anti-nuclear proliferation or something? This just seems like a very counterintuitive offer. Uh, hmm. 30000 would get blown super fast. I'll take the free nuclear plant, and hopefully that was a good idea, because I'm imagining a nuclear plant is expensive. Okay, we can get the free nuclear plant immediately, and I'm probably going to. I'll set it up... Where should I put you? Put you here. We'll just put you here. Well, this will be like the red... This will be like all of the... This will be like a little industrial district, same along that beach. I don't plan to set up tourism, but if it comes to it, I guess we will have to, but it's just how it works. Also, how is a nuclear plant going to help us find a pet, exactly? I mean, we lost a fucking bird. It's not like we need nuclear power to find it. This seems a bit excessive. And again, this is the United States. God knows they build an army to find the president's lost pigeon. Uh, how much does this cost normally? Um, 40000 So yeah, it's actually, we made a good choice. We got technically more, more money for our buck, essentially. If that's even an expression. That's totally not an expression. We got more bang for our buck. That's the expression I was looking for. Yours, have you? And you never thought of asking me, did you? Actually, um, no, I didn't. I, I will admit, I did not think of asking you. Because I kind of figured, you know, you had better things to do. If you had asked, the intellectuals would have mentioned the radio, Presidente. We can inform the nearby islands of your missing pet by radio. Don't forget to ask us next time. I simply love it when you ask. Build a radio. So now, wait, wait, how the fuck did the U.S. get our newspaper? They, they definitely have a fucking spy on this island. There's no other way they could have gotten that shit unless they have a spy here. So, with that said, I should probably get my military built up. This is also going to be one of those rebel missions, so I have no doubt that we're going to have rebellions, which means that getting a military is probably a good idea. And it's only $3,000 to get an armory, so I might as well. And I'll put it, I guess, right here. This is an early investment before it becomes too big of a problem to handle. Power is the key, See? Presidente. Told you. Power Our plant. Is growing. Our power should grow too. Uh, there is an unknown reward for this, but I'm going to do it nonetheless because we are now getting a nuclear power plant which should be producing all the power that we actually might even produce all the power that we could ever need for this quest. So I might have made a good choice there. I made a good choice both financially and mission-wise. I was trying to come up with a word. I couldn't think of one that was fancy to describe what I did, so I just had to say mission-wise. You know how it is. Peace and love, dear Presidente. Please accept this flower wreath as a gift 
And hear my plea. No, fuck off. We're not gonna ch stop chopping down trees. We're not gonna stop digging up oil. What the fuck do you think we are? This island can't support anything but industry. Literally, this is an industrial island. If you think for one second I'm gonna scoop to the environmentalist demands, you've got another thing coming. There's already vegans calling for the death of every single quote-unquote omnivore, as they put us, in the world. The last thing we need is environmentalists getting on the island to fuck our shit up. Ah, oh, yes. Sweet. So we got a general. That should actually appease the militarists. Who are major factions on this island right now? The capitalists are not major. Communists, as always. Religious, as always. Yeah, for some reason, communists and religious people are always the most common. That and the militarists. Sometimes it's the militarists over the religious people, but it's typically always, at least always, the communists. For some reason, they're really fucking prevalent. And I guess it makes sense, you know, services to the majority and all. Communists would have the majority vote. So is this ship getting... Okay, good, it did get service, so... We did make some money from that at the very least. We actually have $35,000, which is pretty good. How much does a radio station cost us? Oh, God, it costs 10000 We We could afford it. We need to get this over here finished first, because we need power to actually get it running in the first place. So that's a high priority, so we actually get these guys to do something. And on that note, because we're actually building... A whole bunch of crap that requires college education and stuff. We're probably actually going to need to get schools up as well. So I'm actually going to invest some of our money in getting at least a high school at the very least. At the very least, they need a high school education. Because we're also going to be getting factories up at some point. Probably like gun factories, maybe the jewelry factory. If I can't set up this mine up here. And get them to mine the actual gold and not run down here to mine the iron because for some reason that is an actual problem with this game. Well, I say it's a problem with the game. It's a problem with us, really. It's a problem with humans. This is a philosophical problem. Yes, that's right. I'm going to take this clearly kind of mismanaged AI that is probably also related to my fault. And I'm going to make it the fault of society because that's what people do. It's all society's fault. Uh, get that up. I have to set all these to high priority. There we go. Now we got a nuclear power plant. If only we had college professors and employees to work at it. So I'm going to actually have to hire a few, which is annoying. I'll, pay, I'll hire one. Oh, fucking hell. An article published in the okay, you're angry about housing conditions. Okay, I can fix that for you. Don't worry, communists. You know me, I've always been on your side since the start. I've been saying since the start, from the very beginning, that I, that I Macho Man Gordon, was a communist at heart, and that I would always support the communist dream, because the communist dream is the dictator's dream. So, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Might as well. I'll sector this off, I'll build all the houses there. I mean, that way it's at least evenly spaced out somewhat. What's this? I don't know if I really want to build two apartments. Apartments are expensive. Like, really fucking expensive. And we also need to buy the blueprint for that, which is kind of annoying. 